They travel thousands of miles every year and work seven days a week. Life can be tough. If you want to be in the circus, then you have to do everything. Roll up, roll up. Make sure you get all of the dirty bits off. Candy floss, popcorn. Oh my God, Brandon. Everyone thinks it's glamorous until you yeah, empty your toilets. It is really hard work. We don't have any running water. Let's sit down, it's really cold. When you see so many people like enjoying your act, it's amazing. I'm really proud of myself because I've made it to this stage. I'm making someone happy and I'm always making someone smile. It's kind of like you're an adult, is working, is the same as your dad. This is the secret <laughs> world of the Big circus step. kids. Big steps. Disaster strikes the big top. We're being warned as Storm Doris bears down on Britain. Check it out, girls. Quick, quick, quick. One, two, up. A 15-year-old girl struggles to perfect her act. It's not elegant. It's butch. Work. And two of the circus's youngest performers get a taste for the spotlight. It's 16th generation circus. We never know what's going to happen. Curtains open up, and I'm sort of thinking, are they getting the pram crying? OK, go to work in the office now and sell some tickets, OK? For children born into the circus, performing is in their blood. Our family goes back nine generations in the circus. You never get bored of it, it's the best. Fantastic! I love circus life. Going to work on a normal day, doing what I love doing. Circus performer, that's all I've ever wanted to do. Like, there's never been anything else. Yasmin has grown up under the big top, working odd jobs inside and outside the ring. My role at the minute uh, is I stand in the globe of death and Peter drives around me. Yasmin hasn't yet developed a solo act, which is crucial if she wants to make a decent living. I want a career in the circus, like this is my life. So obviously I'd love to have my own act and if I was to ever leave planet and go to a different circus, I would need my own act. Because as much as like Stan in the Globe is in the show and it's like it's a really cool thing to do, you can't take it with you everywhere you go. It's not an act, it's a role really. Hello, how can I help? But at the minute one of my main jobs here is the ticket office. Yeah, we have still got seats available for both shows. <laughs> Most people prefer grandstand. <laughs> I do ticketing, so I'll go out to people's houses and give them vouchers through their doors. Thanks, bye-bye. Then I'll come into the office and sell tickets for the show. Working at ACT, it's always something I've wanted to do and it's always been an aerial act that I've wanted to do. But obviously, I'd love to have my own act and perform. But Helping tra Yasmin it train might... is experienced hoopist little... Amelia daughter Bang. of the circus owner. Bend it and put your leg through and just hold. For me, I started when I was seven. Then when I was 14, I did my own act. Can you now let go? Oh, I'm going to fall back. Um, it's going to be quite hard for Yasmin to do her own act, starting at the age of 15. And put that foot up as well as that one on two sides. No, but bend your back, you silly sausage. <laughs> Obviously, you need the strength, you need the flexibility. Um, but once you, t once you get to an older age, um, it does get a lot harder. She really needs to get going. If she wants an act of her own, she's got to start, and she's got to start now. Obviously, it's going to take a lot more work, time, practice, patience, and everything like that. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. I know it hurts, but... Oh, my wrist. I'll get you a bandage, and then it won't hurt so much. The problem is, until the skin goes hard, you're always going to feel it, so putting a bandage on isn't really going to do much. In Yorkshire, 15-year-old Rosita and 13-year-old Eva are packing to leave for the circus. Got a little fishnet collection going on here. 
pink fishnets, red fishnets, normal colour fishnets, black fishnets. The girls fishnets, now live in a permanent house with their mum, Victoria, and dad, Gavin, a retired circus performer. They were born and they grew up in, in a circus, in a caravan, and they, they knew nothing else. The circus life stopped really because we decided, we made a big decision really, that we would come off the road um, full time and that the girls would go to school, which um, I think in their eyes they've regretted ever since, but in my eyes it was the right decision and what we're doing is we're giving them choices. Whenever we're here, we want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> and whenever we're there, we don't want to come back here. It's half term, and Rosita and Eva are getting the chance to go back to the circus for the week. Yeah, first poster! Ah! Oh, yay! <laughs> Don't run over the dog! Don't It's been five months since the girls have seen their circus friends. <laughs> How long are you here for? Uh, the week. The week. The week, yeah. I think we have to practice tonight, by the way. Definitely. What about that voice? Oh, yeah, do you hear his voice? Very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting the coats up here. Yeah, put them all up there. I'm really excited to be back. It's just, it's nice to be home and to see everyone and even just like cleaning the caravan is just way better than cleaning the house. This has honestly kept me going all the way through school knowing that I can just come back here. You never get bored of it. Never. It's the best. This has always been sort of the place that I've thought of as home. Like whenever I think of home, I think of here. Like my house, I guess it's also my home, but it's just like temporary home. You know, it's not like what I would call my actual home. This is like, this is my home. <laughs> it's not just Rosita who feels at home near the big top. Dad Gavin was in the circus for over 60 years. Like Rosita was saying, home, there it is. That's not just a place where we earn money. That's not just a place where we have parties. That's not just a place where we have weddings. That's not just a place where we actually have funerals. That's the tank, that's the center of our life. That's home. <laughs> it's straight into rehearsals. The girls are joined by acrobat brothers, 13-year-old Enrique and 12-year-old Diego. When they're in the air, we're like, don't fall, <laughs> don't fall. They'll all be performing in the first kids' show of the season. The kids' show is kind of like a practice to see when you're ready to go into the full show. Well done, boys. If you can handle the kids' show like week by week and you, um, you've made your act really good and you know that you can do it two times a day, then you, you move to the big show and make space for you there. Love it, Diego. <laughs> you're not strong enough, you're going to fall down to the ground. And this is quite a hard ground to be falling on, really. I wouldn't like to do that. but. We've had the right training. My act is an aerial hoop act, and I've been doing it for over a year, so I haven't been doing it for that long, really. When Rosita goes back to school, the aerial spot is up for grabs. When Rosita's not here, I've got the chance to take her place in the kids' show and do my own hoop act, but obviously I've got to practice a lot and make sure I'm good enough to do it. Oh, you're not. I'm taking your place in the show when you're not here. <laughs> OK, that's fine. I'll make you the best replacement ever. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> but Yasmin's plans might not even get off the ground. We're being warned about the risk of gale force winds and snow as Storm Doris bears down on Brissett. So also heavy showers moving in as well. That wind will pick up throughout the day as Doris moves in. Hours, 
For circus owner Tanya, it's a major concern. Her family lost their big top in the 1970s. This is just some old footage of when my dad actually lost the tent. Um, and they did carry on and perform outside. I think it was months and months of waiting for the new canvas to come. So whilst they wait for the new canvas to come, obviously they would either perform or starve. So they did set up everything outside as normal, just without the canvas. There's a lot of families rely on this big top to feed everybody, and without it, we have no business. No money comes in the door means nobody gets paid. The danger, you see, is not the wind hitting the tent. The danger is when the wind gets inside the tent. And it, it takes off. I've never experienced that personally. I've only seen movie of it. Of course, it rips the poles. The, the poles rip the tent. It's a dreadful mess. Everything knocked over and wrecked and, well, a million pounds. If the tent comes down, hundreds of ticket sales will be lost. As the wind speeds increase, Tanya's 17-year-old son, Peter, discovers more worrying damage. These boxes here, which we keep the tent in for traveling, they've blown down and they are very heavy. So if the wind keeps on coming how it is, we'll have to lower the tent and strap it down to the floor and make sure it's safe. For Eva and Rosita, who haven't performed for five months, it's important lost rehearsal time. We've been practicing, like, so much, just training and practicing, building up to this. And obviously, we've invited a few of our friends to come see the show, and it might not even be on. So it is worrying, but then you just got to get on with it, because you can't do anything about it. My dad's told us the weather forecast is to hit 80 mile an hour wind. 120 kilometers an hour, which is strong wind for, for anything really, so take the tent down. It's safer on the floor than up doing shows in bad conditions. Take it out, girls, quick, quick, quick. Good girls. The kids are expected to just muck in wherever they can, whether it's picking up a little bit of rubbish, carrying the fencing, bringing out the rubbish bin, uh, help with the popcorn, you know, stock or anything, anything they can do that's physically, you know, okay for them before it starts coming down. One, two, up! My brother, my dad, my brother-in-law, we do everything, make sure everything's fine, everything's safe. Uh, keep an eye on everyone else because if you're running around, it's dangerous, you know, you can break something or hurt, injure yourself. So we keep it, you know, like as fast as possible, but as safe as possible. The season's not properly started, but for the first time in 40 years, the big top has to come down. The kids are very sad they didn't get their dress rehearsal today for the Saturday show, um, but they know uh, the decision is done and it's final. They don't argue, don't cry, don't whinge. It has to be done, and they understand our livelihood is there. They're very young, but they all understood. No tent, no wages, no food. I don't really know what to do today. It's a bit, because there's no shows on, obviously. So they're not going to be out working, everyone. So we're going to be stuck in the caravan all day. And our caravan's a bit small and crowded. So <laughs> that's a bit tricky. The circus without a big top is taking its toll on everyone. What are you doing? Close them inside now. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Kiss. Good boy. Kiss. Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Bravo. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Bravo. <laughs> I'm 
a bit bored. I've cleaned my caravan about a hundred times and I've fluffed my cushions and swept the floor and I've phoned like everyone in my contact list. <laughs> it's so boring, I don't like it. Losing time to practice is critical for Yasmin. Yeah. And circus manager Mark thinks it's time for a reality check. So where do you see yourself then, Yaz? What do you want to do? I want to be a performer. Like, uh -huh. I'd love doing all the aerial. Like, I uh -huh. want to be an aerialist. Uh -huh. I want to be a good one. So where do you see your future? Where do you, where do you see yourself going? Monte Carlo. You'd love to be there? I'd like love the to make it to Monte Carlo, yeah. yeah. So not Vegas. You can go anywhere, but you've got to put that work in now. You give it 150%, but it's down to you. No one is going to come along and make you happy. So I'm going to be tough on you, and if I'm hard on you, it's because I want it to be good for you, and I want you to be the best thing that you can be. The whole world is out there, but it's only out there if you give it 150%. By this time next year, I'd love to be doing like a really good hoop act in the ring. I'd just like to keep practicing, make it better, and hopefully by the time I'm 20, maybe make it to Monte Carlo. I've already booked tickets online. OK. OK, so what do we do? Can you refund them to me or what? I can't refund you them if you've booked them online, but what you can do is if you get in contact with the company you bought them from, they will refund you. All right, thank, thank you. you. The following day, the storm has passed. Okay, para atrás. And it's time to get the big top up. There's no time to lose, as they need to be ready for the matinee or risk even more ticket losses. We've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning today, um, getting the tent ready for shows. Everything's been outside, it's all wet, dirty, so we'll have to get it in ready and clean it all and get it all dried up, ready for the show. It's, it's around 10 o'clock now, so hopefully for the 3 a.m. we'll be just in time. Well, I can just take these. Yeah, but I need to take some time. Take two, then. This is not going well. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> yup! <laughs> the kids have been amazing. Today they're in their scrubbing seats, cleaning seats. They never complain. I mean, everybody would dream to have teenagers like we have. They pull in, they get to work. There's, there's nothing they won't do to help. They're brilliant. You can't do the performances and not help out. That's not how it works. So if you want to be in the circus, then you have to help everyone. Every, you have to do everything. Um, I enjoy doing the hard work because it means that I'm, I means that I'm a part of the team. Not all the circus kids are helping with the big top. Tanya's two-year-old granddaughter twins, Scarlett and Esmeralda, have other things on their minds. Yeah, give me baby. Uh, Poppy's gonna do his clown makeup. You gonna watch? Baby. Okay, what color's that? Yellow. White. White. The twins started performing just after their second birthday. And they've been in and out of the ring since then. So, so they're nearly, oh, about two and a half now. So a good six months working. What color's that? Um, orange. Red. No. Do you want some? You don't really know what the kids are going to end up doing. Look in the mirror. They learn to do handstands and they're learning to do tumbling and they're learning to hang on a trapeze and they'll learn to juggle, they'll learn to ride unicycles, they'll learn to spin lassos, you know, in the next, next few years, slowly they, they will make up their own mind what they want to do. Do you want to be a sad clown or a happy clown? Happy clown. Bobby's going to give you a happy face, okay? You know, that's what uh, happens with all the circus kids. They just copy their grandparents or their parents and generations of it like that. They're born into a performing family. It's almost 100% guaranteed they will be performers as well. Stand. No. <laughs> Wrong dot. OK, you go to the other dot. We treat it like a game. This is a big playground for the kids and they keep the interest there. 
and if you find out they it looks like they're getting bored with it a little bit, we stop stop them doing it until they want to do it again. One here, one here. Good girl. Now spin, 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 spin. Good girl. Spin. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Faster. Faster. Fantastic. These two kids here, they're sixteenth generation circus. You know, they, their family started in sixteen forty eight. So it's a it's a history, you know, and hopefully they will carry it on and their kids will carry it on. But they're 16th generation, and it's, a, it's from the oldest circus family in the world. You won't find that anywhere else here where they're, they're 16th generation. Okay, ready, Scarlett, you run there. One to the dot, one to the dot. Now spin, spin. A compliment. Take a bow. And blow some kisses. And wave and <laughs> We never know what's going to happen. Uh, when the curtains, they say, oh, here's, the, here's Esmeralda and Scarlett, two-year-old twins, the curtains open up, and, and I'm sort of thinking, are they going to be standing there or are they, are they in the pram crying? It's just a gamble. Who's a banana head? Me, banana. You, banana. You're a banana head. <laughs> Tanya's daughter, Amelia, directs the kids' show, and it's time to get the girls back in the ring. Come in. Hello. Hi. Hey. Okay, so tent's back up. Doing both shows today like normal. As soon as the second show is finished, we're going to do a full dress rehearsal for the gig show. And we've got a show tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so how are you feeling that we've had two less days of rehearsals? Obviously, it's a bit boring because we didn't have much time to rehearse, but we'll work hard tonight and get it all sorted. But tomorrow morning, if you're still feeling nervous, we can always go through one more time with the music, your costume and the lights and everything because yeah. everyone's already going to be there. So if you get ready in the morning for about nine o'clock mm -hmm. and come into the tent for about half nine, okay. we'll all be there, OK? Yeah. You nervous? A bit, but I'm mostly excited. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll all Never be there sighted. to help you. Never sighted. Never sighted. <laughs> <laughs> Storm Doris has left everyone unsettled, and circus owner Tanya has had two extra guests to stay. Good morning. This isn't going to happen, is it? Go and wake her up. They came round for half an hour last night, then decided they wanted a bath, and then threw some blankets on the floor and decided they were staying at Nanny's. So we've ended up with you here, haven't we? Let's go together and try to get your sister up. Come on then. Esmeralda, sleepy head. Diddle, 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 diddle. Come on, not milky. Will you wake your sister? I don't think pick a nose is working. Ah, yep, well, maybe. <laughs> Let's go. You're meant to go by six in the morning. You're a toddler. I got you. Good morning. <laughs> They perform in the circus with their grandparents with their, and their auntie. Um, they do the lassoes, their cowboy acts, but only as and when they want to. So it depends. If they want their bottle of milk, they refuse to go to, go to work. Um, if they're a bit tired or Peppa Pig's on TV, we refuse to go to work. So uh, we do a day on and off as we feel like it. But uh, once they're in their costume and they're in the back doors, they love to perform. They love to go on the stage. Thank you. They love to go on stage, but uh, it's as and when they choose to. With the big top back up, Tanya wants to make sure it stays that way and has called in a priest to give it a blessing. We normally do it if we buy a new big top or um, a new big prop like either the Wheel of Death or the Globe of Death. We have a priest come out, they bless it. We've decided because of this horrendous weather we've had that um, it's, a, it's a chance to get it done really. Um, it just makes everyone feel a little bit better. The blessing will happen in time for the evening's show, but before that, Rosita and Eva have their first performance at the kids' show. Mum, we need to find that Star Wars bag because it's got stuff in there that I need. Are you excited? Are you ready for it? It's quite ruined, actually, because if anything goes wrong with costumes, we haven't got much time to sort it out. Oh, my goodness, so much could go wrong. <laughs> I could fall and kill myself. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Which one of you is doing my makeup today? Showtime, let's go. We need to go. Come on. After months away from the stress of Storm Doris, it's showtime. Yay! 
When you're performing, when you're just about to go on and you're behind the curtains, you get so nervous. Even with limited rehearsals, for Eva, this is what really matters. or you're having a bad day if you're ill, as soon as you step into the ring it all just goes away. The spotlight's on you and I, I love being in the spotlight, so it's good. When you see so many people like enjoying your act, it's amazing. It's not easy. People look at it and think, oh that's easy, I can do that. But it's not, it's not easy at all. It takes a lot, a lot of hard work. So when you get applause, it's kind of, makes you think it's worth it. The Rosita that goes on stage is very different to the Rosita that's not performing. She's way more confident. I think the emotions I feel when I perform, it's really exciting. And like, I get really happy. Like when you look around and you see everyone cheering for you and like screaming, you're like, ah, they're cheering for me. <laughs> so that's like, it makes you like really proud of yourself. Like all my hard work actually meant something. The show went really well. There was lots of people there. Everyone was screaming. It was really good. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like really, I'm ready for the finale though. <laughs> I think if that circus life was suddenly taken away from me, I don't know what I would do because there's nothing else that I ever wanted to be. I think I'd probably just crawl in a hole <laughs> and stay there forever. <laughs> but living a circus life does mean a bit of a compromise on home comforts. Well, I sleep here, but the sofas over there is where my parents sleep. They set it up every night. So we have to keep their duvets and everything on our beds. And it's hard sometimes because all the electricity goes off at midnight, so no lights. And sometimes if we were too late, because we spend too long at practicing in that, we're sometimes up past midnight quite a lot actually. And then if the beds aren't already set up, my mum has to change the sofas into beds in the pitch black. And it's so difficult. It gets a bit crowded in that sometimes. There's no privacy really, but we don't mind it. It means we get to be here, so it's fine. Is it on the front the wrong way? Oh. There we go. We're filling this up because our water isn't connected to our caravan, so we don't have any running water. So we're filling this up so that we can wash up and wash our hands and... <laughs> this isn't for drinking water. No, this isn't drinking water. The taps don't work and the shower doesn't work. Well, that's why we go swimming quite regularly so that we can like wash our hair and stuff in, in the, the, in the showers can't. at the Take swimming pool. Shower. We don't mind because we just love being here so much. We'll deal with it. We'll put up with it. It's fine. Yeah, and you can just do lots of water runs, can't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. Just, as long as we get to be here, I don't you mind. Just get on with it. Before the evening show opens, it's time for a special blessing. Good morning. Brilliant to be here. Are you ready for this, this Good. morning? I think so, I think oh, yeah, so. Right. Yes, good to meet you. Okay. Good to meet you. David, David, I shall leave it all to you now. It's thank, uh, I'm going to take oh, your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This big top and what you do here is like a big family. That you come from all different countries of the world and you all come together to produce something 
that is very special for people. The kids get again from this the sense of it's drummed into them, look after each other. It's not about, only about you, it's about everybody that's part of the community. You have to help each other out, whether you're two or 22. I mean, they do get that, they understand that. Almighty God, we pray for your blessing upon this big top. Bless it in all that it does. And we make this prayer through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Bless you. That's all right for you. Very nice. Thank you so much. Bless you. Thank you. Is that all right for you? And like all good get-togethers, the blessing is a cue for good old circus family. I'd rather you can have sandwich. Let's! I'm not allowed to touch that. That's not sugar. The cake is... Okay. Oh, wow! Sandwich, please. Quickly. Need this one? Quick. All the other kids here are the best friends I've ever had because I have friends at school and everything but that's what they are, they are my friends but the ones here, they are my family so it is different. Bless you, thank you very much. You can be who you want to be and whoever you are, you will accept. We're a family here. Thank you. You're having some cake? Having cake? I'm never going to leave circus, unless obviously something happens and I had to, but I'm staying here for as long as I can. But to do that, Yasmin desperately needs her own act. To keep that one bent, that one bent. Becoming an aerialist takes enormous strength and agility. Hold that one for three seconds, then bend it. She did start a little bit late for an aerial act. Um, most kids for an aerial act, you know, are starting stretching at two, three, four years old. So yeah, it will be harder, considering she started at 15. Yeah, why is your foot on the wrong side? It'll take a lot of training. With half term over and Rosita and Eva back at school, the aerial hoop act in the kids' show is now up for grabs. I don't like anything to do with it. The foot loop, the drop. It just doesn't look like... It's not elegant. It doesn't look, yeah, it doesn't look ladylike. It looks like it's butch. Work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it looks it. I need to practice the foot drop. It feels horrible. Apparently, it looks horrible as well, which I understand because it feels terrible. Uh, obviously, just got to practice some different hand movements and just try to think a lot more elegantly, which is hard because I'm one of the least elegant people I think there is. So I know I'm a little bit older than everyone else that's started acts in the show, but I'm determined to practice as much as I can and I'm going to do it. And everyone thinks we just sit around all day and just turn up for our act and then go back home again, but we don't. It's a lot harder than that. There's a lot more practice and a lot more time. There we go, straighten that leg. The kids get a lot of freedom as in outside. Yeah. They can go to play, they're, they're free outside, there's loads of kids. Um, they haven't got that constrictive school but also there's a lot of discipline of, they know they have to go to train. There's no getting out of it. They know they have to come and help with the jobs that have to be done. You're gonna jump down then if you're getting tired. Well, jump down if you're getting tired. Come on then, go put your shoes on. The circus is getting ready for today's show. And it will include two-year-old Scarlett and Esmeralda. Here comes Nanny. Come on, we'll see Nanny. Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be clown or cowgirl? Cowgirl. Cowgirl. <laughs> Sorry, you Poppy. A, you wanna be a cowgirl clown? All the kids help out in the circus. You know, some some of the kids do more, some do less. These ones here, they just hang around and they just play with the toys and play with stuff and other kids see them playing with stuff and they say, oh mummy, can I have one of them? Okay, so it works good. <laughs> In there. Wow, you're working so hard. Slush puppies. Get your slush puppies here. 
They have four pound each. Here we go. You want to give that to the boy? You give it to the boy. There we go. You give this one to the lady. Get your slushies here. Oh, that's going to hurt. Don't do that. All the way from the wild, wild west, the sensational wealthy family. The twins are now part of a long-running family wild west act. Performing long enough to have your grandkids working in there at the same time is the greatest. Today they steal the show. with that leg. Yasmin has been spending every spare minute practicing her routine. I kept telling her, you know, take a day off, leave it for today. No, I want to practice, I want to practice. It was hard work. I mean, she had blisters, um, cuts, bruises, blood, you know. It was hard work, but she wanted to do it. The hard work has paid off. Yasmin has been given a part in today's kids' show. It's also her 16th birthday, and she has a very special visitor. Happy birthday! Look, all your presents. You have quite a few. Oh yeah, that's from the dog. To my special sister Yasmin, happy 16th birthday. I love you so much. I miss you at home sometimes, but I know you are happy. So that makes it okay. I've been telling all my doggy pals you're going to be a big star. <laughs> <laughs> They're so excited to watch lots of love your best friend Bosco. <laughs> He's a clever dog, what can I say? <laughs> it's your birthday. Mm, mama makeup. <laughs> so are you ready for your aerial hoop today? Yeah. You feel confident with it? Yeah. Good. Oh, I gotta go to work. Okay, I'll be in in a minute. All right. Save me the best seats. Oh, fight them try, I'm sure. Fight them crowds and save me the best two seats. We're going to be... Oh, I don't mind. OK. Right, thank you for my present. You're welcome. See you in a minute. Yeah. Her okay, mum, Kelly, oh, has now left the circus, but Yasmin just couldn't stay away. See you in a minute. Love you. Bye. And Kelly was unable to change her mind. Obviously, it wasn't the easiest decision to, to leave her here, but... Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the best thing for her. It just, obviously because it's just been me and her for so many years. No, it's just myself, I miss her every day, but I know she's where she wants to be and she's happy, so that's all you ever want for your children. Five, five is ten. Today is a payday, so every week I give uh, the twins ten pound each. They hide their money down here with my costumes. Um, here's one stash <laughs> from from one twin, and they both know which side's theirs. And here's another stash from the other twin. Um, they only like getting five pound notes because the 10 pound note, even when they get a 10 pound note, they only get one. So they like having the five pound notes where they get two. So <laughs> they're quite picky. And if they only get one, they'll get, they'll get angry. And they'll tell them off and they want a refund. Not a refund, but they want to swap and they want their two fivers. It's really sweet though. 
Hello, you okay? There you go. Wages. What do you say? Good girl. There you go. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Mwah. What do you say? Okay. See you later. Ready or not, it's Yasmin's big moment. When she was really, really young, she was so shy, she wouldn't say boo to a goose, and I thought, oh my goodness, you know, she, she needs some confidence. But literally, I think the, f the first time I see her perform the aerial, it's, obviously it's got that edge to it, it's something different, I'm going to be so very proud. After all the years living away from her mum, and all the weeks of practice, the next few minutes could define Yasmin's career. It's an amazing and terrifying feeling. It's just like you just know it's your moment now, especially when you've worked so hard for it. A lot of things go through your mind. I was just terrified that I was going to mess it up. It was really nice for Mum to be able to like, watch the first one and it felt good. I looked down and I saw her little face. It means the world to have been here on the first performance of it. Definitely something I'll always remember. I can't tell you how proud I am. I was crying a little bit in the show, but that doesn't surprise anyone. <laughs> a long way to go but this is like the first big step and we're getting there now slowly but surely. I'm very passionate about my act and how far I want to go with it and I just want to get as far as I can and it means everything to me. Oh I'm gonna do it for sure. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> it's, there's no doubt about it. Next time on Circus Kids 15-year-old Imogen leaves home to follow her dreams. I've wanted to join the circus for about five years now. Today is the first day of shows and I'm really excited. The Big Top welcomes its newest arrivals. <laughs> and the pressure's on for Peter and his dad to boost ticket What's sales. What's going on again, Rossi? It's when they find this, a rival circus already working their patch. He's taken your poster down. He did? Yeah. Fucking wanker.